recently gotten a request to do a video about like how I pack snacks for the kids when we go out or just every day. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what we bring with us and how to make it a little more eco-friendly and not be using like plastic bags and stuff all the time. I don't own any of the little like silicone reusable Ziploc type products. I have these little containers that we got off of Amazon like three or four years ago when I was making baby food for Calvin. I would put the baby food in these little containers. We have a lot of little containers that I bought when I was making baby food and I've just continued to use them as our snacks containers for the boys as they get older. So we love using these little guys. We just pack them up like right in here in the book bag and the diaper bag and take our snacks with them with us. Right now uh, in the diaper bag we have some raisins. Raisins are one of my like number one things because it's a nice sweet treat. So when the boys want something that's sweet and yummy, we always have those on hand in the book bag. Also recently we've been going with like little crackers and stuff like these chocolate teddy grams just throw those inside of a little container and take them with us and here we have some pretzels just random little stuff that sits inside of the book bag that we take with us whenever we go somewhere to have some snacks while we're out and about i always make sure to have snacks in the book bag just in case when the kids start getting kind of irritable and just like in a bad mood <laughs> snacks can usually fix most of those problems so it's always nice as a little distraction even when you're like going out for dinner or something just to have like a little snack before our food actually comes so we don't like starve to death in the 20 minutes to get our food i also always keep inside here hopefully it's in here i have one lara bar a chocolate chip cookie dough lara bar inside the little front pocket here um, mostly for me, but sometimes in case I like forgot to have other snacks, we always have one little extra snack that we can kind of share to hold all of us off until we get back to the house or wherever we're going. I also have these, a couple of these little uh, plastic reusable sandwich containers that my mom actually bought for me and my sister when we still lived at home, like still bringing lunches to school and stuff. Uh, we've had these for a long, long time. I don't know, I'm sure they have some kind of product like this on the market yeah. that's not necessarily Wonder Brand. But uh, yeah, we pack our little peanut butter and jelly sandwiches whenever we go out like for a picnic or go to the park or whatever, we can just throw it in there. So we are not plastic free. As you can see, all this stuff is plastic, but we do try to reuse containers as much as possible. I hardly ever use Ziplocs, but we do have them here in the house. Like my husband uses them for like freezer things. I do use them for like, I had basil growing in the garden and I froze some on my basil. So I put it inside of a Ziploc so I could kind of like, you know, get all the air out of it and store it in the freezer. So we do use Ziplocs, but not for everyday snack things. I try to avoid using them as much as possible. Now the boys' favorite snacks at home are almost always fruit. They've been on an anti-banana kick lately, which is totally weird because they used to like totally love bananas, but we've been having these little uh, clementines around. They love grapes lately. They're currently in the living room snacking on some grapes. Fruits are definitely my go-to snack for the boys. Instead of like having fruit snacks, why don't we actually have fruit for a snack? So that's it for the snacks for the boys for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what other kind of stuff you wanna see here on this channel. I always write down any requests that I've been getting lately so I can try my best to get to videos about the things you guys wanna hear about. So let me know down below if there's anything in particular you wanna see me film a video on. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what else you wanna see here on this channel.